Okay, this is a dual um, channel control box. It's actually the uh, controller on the left is a temperature control. It's actually dual zone ramp and so the left is a limit um, over temperature protection. There's a power disconnect. We've got a uh, system on off which basically turns power on and off to the controllers themselves. And there is a heater zone fault one and two. Um, if there's an issue either with the solid state relay failing or with the um, uh, heaters themselves failing those lights, fault lights will come on. If we open up the box, we see the general thing that goes on here. So, um, main power disconnect is here, power is coming in here, running through terminal block, breaks out into two zones. Um, these are fused for each zone. And we've got um, the limit um, over temperature protection mechanical uh, relays are here. Those are controlled by these two outputs here for that one sensor input for a limit. So as long as this is okay, it pulls these mechanical contactors in and power is available. This power comes out and it actually runs up to the solid state relays that are through the wall mount dynamites. There is one zone, there's another zone. So um, the heater power will come through those zones. Um, you see that there's toroid coils here. Those will be wired in to monitor um, for the alarm conditions that we're looking for both uh, heater failure and or solid state relay failure. We've got um, DC power, AC power dropping down here, fuses, and um, these fuses are for the lights actually here. Now, a couple unique things that are, are happening here. We've got two sets of serial communications. All these controls have um, a standard bus configuration that comes off of uh, this terminal block here as this. Now, those are 485. That'll come through this um, 485 to USB port converter. Um, and that does that. It comes through and goes up to this connector that's up here, actually. Inside of that, we open that up, and there's the USB port connection. And uh, this also has Ethernet. So um, these are Cat5 connectors here, here that'll obviously have to go to the hub. So that's this panel. Um, looks sharp, and uh, we're excited about it.